Actually, sir, I do have a question. Hey, y'all guys don't park illegally, right? Park like illegal. to go in and get something to eat, you know, when no, you're in your patrol you unit? That, you're not allowed to do that? We're not, I mean, I don't... We don't normally do that. Why would we do that? Well, I mean, I just ran two, uh, two police units off. I got their badge numbers and names okay. that were uh, illegally parked right okay. actually in front of the sign that says no parking okay. while they were inside getting food. Okay. Pure violation, traffic violation. Okay. Um, I gave them the courtesy to uh, come move their vehicles. But uh, we should spread the word around town that uh, next time I'm not going to give them that courtesy. I'm just going to call a tow truck. Sure. Okay? okay? Thank you for your professionalism. His name is Shalon Shalani. Nice to meet you, Shalani. How are you doing today? I'm doing blessed. Um, is there a supervisor or someone I could speak with? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? I would like to file a complaint, okay. and I need a couple uh, uh public information request forms. All right, guys, this is their uh, do not use our restrooms in the public areas area. We got plaques dedicated in the memory of the officers in the Houston department who have died in the performance of their duties. We got a lockbox area for uh, weapons here. And uh, let's see how um, this sergeant, I'm guessing, uh, handles taking the complaint. Cool, thank you so much. And what was your name? Castilla. Castillo? And what was your badge number? 9863. Thank you. Yeah, they don't have a citizen's plaque, sadly. They do have an infringed American flag. You see the infringement here. These candies look like they would test positive for, co <laughs> for <laughs> convict. <laughs> wow. Not very cleanly in here, folks. Maybe we should give them a give them a couple calls, obviously to the non-emergency line. But I mean, look at this, y'all. They got fly strips covered in flies hanging. How gross is this? How gross is this? And I gotta say, it's hotter in here than it is outside. This is downtown division, 1900 Rusk. Is that the location here? Okay. This is downtown 1900 Rusk, guys. Um, if y'all are gonna call to let them know about their cleanliness and professionalism, please call the non-emergency line. We don't want anybody getting hurt because they weren't able to take the phone. So I restate that. Please call non-emergency lines, folks. Customer service. Look at this. Attitudes are contagious. Be sure not to catch or spread a bad one. You know, if a lot of officers took that into account when they walked out to go serve the public, then we'd have a lot less people getting shot and hurt for no reason. Set the example for those that will follow.
Look at those salaries, guys. Look at those salaries. I think that's not very accurate. <sighs> I'm sorry? No, 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 I'm not hurt. I'm just gonna file a complaint, a couple complaints. I actually, could you please get me a couple complaint forms? So you couldn't get me a, um, a public information request form? I'm sorry? A public information request form? Yes, but I can't leave the desk alone. <laughs> oh, okay. Well guys, she says she cannot leave the desk alone, which is understandable because all they have is a towel to protect them. <laughs> So Cal, you put the names. It was from the officers that um, that were parked illegally, right? Could you please repost those for me? Hello. How you doing, brother? Hey, Sergeant Pham with downtown division. How can I help you with? Okay, this is uh, Sergeant Pham with yes. the police department, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to file a complaint on two officers, and um, I confronted them and got them to move their vehicles. They were illegally parked right in front of the illegally do not park here sign so that they could go in and get their food, you know, and use their, their privilege of the duty car to go inside. And I feel that's kind of unfair when you have all these families with children, stuff sitting right there that had to go park and pay for their parking like everybody else. But then we have public servants not really holding up to what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be leading by example and um, being just as equal as we the people. And all those people had to walk with their children and pay for their parking. And those cops just parked illegally using some kind of benefit that they don't have. And I'm here to file a complaint on them for parking illegally. Okay, uh, do you have the location where it happened? I have the names and their badge numbers. Okay. Uh, do you know the location where it happened? Um, what was the name of that street? It was um, something in Spanish and Americana right here. Avenida? Avenida, okay. Um, right there, um, across the street from the park, you know where the park is with the pretty art? There's that hill where everybody plays. Okay. The, the restaurant right across from there is where they were parked illegally, right there in the, uh, it says no parking from the corner down, okay. and they parked right in front of the restaurants. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So I'm just trying to make sure everybody's accountable here. I don't, I'm not trying to make them lose their job or nothing. I'm just making sure that when they come in from work tonight, okay. that they hear from their sergeant that they probably shouldn't be doing that because they did it on a live audience. Okay. Uh, do you have the name of the officer? Yes, I got it right here. Um, could y'all please post those uh, officers' names for me real quick right now? Mark, uh, Mac, 6500. BT Shepard, 7842. Okay. And that's the power of technology. Okay. Because they watched them. And um, they were somewhat professional in the manner of moving their vehicles. But... Uh, the officer instructed me to come out into the road to speak with him. He said, come on over here and talk to me. And I went over there to talk to him, and he's like, get out of the road. <laughs> Who did you talk to? Um, those two officers. Those two officers, it was um, Mac, 6500, and Shepard, 7842. M-A-C-K, 6500, and B-T-S-H-E-P-P-A-R-D, 7842. Okay. Do you know those officers I'm speaking of? Yeah, they will be in downtown to visit. Yeah, okay. And so um, I would like to get a couple of uh, public information forms, at least two or three, and at least two complaint forms that I can take with me home uh, in conclusion of this meeting with you. All right. Give me a couple minutes, I'll be back with you, okay? Thank you so much, sir. All right. Mac was the one that said that. Mac was the one that told me get in the road and then get out of the road. Mac, okay? See that Castillo does have her body cam rolling. So careful Castillo, because you have your body cam rolling and you're doing something on your phone and I'm gonna FOI request your body cam footage.
So you don't, I don't want you putting a bunch of your private information on that camera, okay? Oh, my lady just sent me a message saying that you are my everything, darling. Would you like some food when I come home? That's really sweet, baby. If you're on this live stream, yes, I would love a burger, bacon burger and fries. And thank you, I love you too, sweetheart. You should get on my live stream. Check it out. News Now Ninja. Huh? It sounds familiar? Yeah. You're probably just used to hearing like, there's a couple other News Nows. There's a lot of News Nows. I'm News Now Ninja. Okay? In case you want to jump on that live stream, let your friends know. Share the message. Like, share, subscribe.